don't think I'm finna put that shit to use. And whole time, you know, as far as the feds is concerned, OTF Jam would be a big part of their case. You know, he would be, you know, so, you know, whenever the trial starts, say Lil Dirk taking the trial, which uh, the reports is that he planned on doing that. He planned on taking the trial, um, plead not guilty, all that shit. So if so, when so when this shit do go to trial, Jam would be an important part of their case. He would be, you know, a quote unquote star witness. You see what I'm saying? So. For you to be a star witness in a case that's, you know, threatening my life, death penalty on the t they trying to kill me and shit like that. And you the star witness for their case, you got to, and I've got $50 million and I got uh, so-called killers on my payroll. You know, like your life in danger, bro. All them uh, components, all them factors that I just named equal your life being in danger. Like I said in the beginning, I'm not 100% on the validity of this shit, but this shit being reported, they speaking on this shit, they posting all type of um, stories about this shit, so I just felt like, all right, I'm gonna get my opinion on this shit. This was being spoke about and shit like that. But uh, like this shit definitely like, just off the how the situation is set up, I can see it for sure. I can see Jam losing his life for being one of the reasons that a millionaire with killers on his payroll is facing death. I can see Jam getting killed, you know what I'm saying, in this type of situation. Your life is definitely on the line. You know, a person like Jam, life would definitely be on the line, and he would definitely be a whole target, if not a, a main target. Like, he definitely would be a target in a situation like this, you know? When you got somebody who's being accused of the type of shit that Lil Durk being accused of, they saying Lil Durk allegedly flew killers from Chicago to California to kill somebody all the way in Cali. So you think a person that's being accused of that, let's say they did do it, let's say this shit is true. You being the witness to this, take him down and put his life on uh, the line as far as the death penalty and all that shit, your life will definitely be on the line messing with somebody who of that caliber, somebody that's accused of doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, it's some real goddamn it. It's some good fella shit going on. Like, whole time, you know, I ain't never gonna lie, I got a video coming out tomorrow and I'm gonna speak on you know, Lil Dirk and what he might have to do to get off this case. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to spoil it right here in this video, but just, just, just keep the word, just keep the word good fellas in mind. And anybody who know about good fellas, y'all know about what Jimmy did. Y'all, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to leave it at that. You know, y'all know what Jimmy did when shit got real and goddamn it, you know, it started to look like, oh, shit, I got to, you know, Jimmy went ahead and did what he had to do. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people wasn't around no more after Jimmy did what he had to do. And, you know, what happened? Jimmy, he he ain't go to, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy got up out that jam on phone number, but, uh, you know, yeah, man, this shit not a game, man. Lil Durk is facing life in jail and death penalty. And his label bogus, because that song still up. That We Slid song, that Sly for Vine song, that song still up. So that just let me know his label is on some shit like, man, F him. Like his label on some shit like F him. He, finna, he, got, he facing the, the what? The death penalty? His ass probably finna die? F him. We finna, goddamn it, we finna uh, get as much as we can off this shit. And that shit like at, uh, that shit like at number 20 on trending. And it's just the audio. It's just the audio. Hopefully they ain't shoot the music video for it. But if they did, just know that shit coming out. And whole time, they ain't even need him to shoot the music video. They gonna create a goddamn graphic video. They gonna make a cartoon Lil Durk. A AI may have an AI make them a cartoon Lil Durk. And they ass gonna uh, do the music video like that. And that shit still gonna be number one trending. They gonna have an AI of King Von up in there. My son, they gonna do that shit for the... Like, say Lil Durk really do be gone. They finna do that shit for the rest of the um, remainder of his career. 
you know, they finna make cartoon AI music videos and they just finna release audios and they finna release all the albums. My son, like, they finna do them like Tupac. They shit, they still releasing Tupac shit to this day. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man, you know, I seen on a few outlets that it was being reported they had pictures of his car, silver car shot up, um, his crib, you know, and then whole time, you know, the uh, motive, that the, the reason that they saying this shit allegedly happened was because of the little dark situation. But now, nah, man, y'all hop in the comments. Y'all let me know, know what y'all think about this situation. If y'all made to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button. Say what's number like y'all leave. Now, we talking about tra I, uh, Trap City Rob, man. Trap City Rob is in jail right now. And if you go look at the charges on, you know what I'm saying, on the jail site, you know, where it shows what he's charged for and shit like that. They saying that um, Rob is in there for a 9-1. He is in there for a homicide. He's in there for a murder. And the whole time, man, you know, what's being said right now is that he's in the, there for the murder of Lil Jeff. That's what's being said, man. Trap City Rob is in jail for the murder of Bloodhound Lil Jeff. And I just want to say something. What the hell do Chicago police got going on right now? Like, if Trap City Rob really in the jail for the murder of Lil Jeff, y'all ass slow as hell. Like, that man ain't killed Lil Jeff. That was self-defense. Like, this got to be another homicide. You know, this got to be, you know, uh, another person. Because it's like, he can't be in jail for That's what's being said, though. They saying that Trap City Rob is in jail for the murder of Bloodham, Lil Jeff. And you know, you know, from what we know, he was already picked up for that body and let go due to self-defense, mutual combat, all that shit. The video is self-explanatory. If that's not self-defense, I don't know what is self-defense. Now, what they could be saying, if it is for the murder of Bloodham, Lil Jeff, what they could be saying is that you know, as far as the 19 shots, they might have, you know, decided to overturn their decision and say like, okay, you know, Lil Jeff did from the video, you could tell that this man did come to kill and, you know, you know, the person that was uh, in the house defending, uh, you know, self-defending himself, he just shot in self-defense. You know, but what they could might be tweaking off of and deciding to charge him now is just off the fact of how many shots, you know, like 19 shots is excessive, you know, like, like say somebody came to, you know, I ain't trying to uh, make Rob case bad or nothing, but I just want to make this example. Say somebody uh, came to your house like how Lil Jeff did. And they came to kill. They already shooting and everything. Say you shot them a hundred times. Say you shot them like three, five times and they fell on the floor. And then after they fell on the floor, you shot them a hundred more times or 95 more times. You know what I'm saying? Is that still self-defense?